How's it going? I'm sorry I haven't made a video where I actually talk in a while. I have uh, been really busy and I've been really busy doing I don't know what kind of busy. Um, <laughs> you know, you just get busy and time just seems to slip away. Um, so um, actually yesterday I took the day off work um, because I work on the weekends as well and recently I've been working a lot on the weekends. I teach privately on the weekends and uh, recently my number of students has increased and I also don't know how to say no. So <laughs> uh, I've been very very busy on the weekends and I don't get enough rest and that sort of thing. So I decided to take the day off yesterday. Um, and just kind of wander around Kapabashi and Asakusa. Uh, I enjoy wandering around there sometimes and especially in Kapabashi I enjoy going to the uh, pottery stores um, where they sell lots of dishes at fairly good prices and uh, made some discoveries. I always buy more than I really need <laughs> but um, I like to buy uh, some of the larger rounder dishes because I use them for um, flower design when I practice at home um, I belong to the uh, Tepco Ikebana Club, and the teacher desperately, desperately tries to teach me how to do Ikebana, and she arranges them for me first, and then she takes them out, and I try and rearrange them, and they look absolutely nothing, nothing uh, like what she did. <laughs> um, so, anyways, but I like to go to Kapabashi because I can get fairly cheap, uh, larger sized dishes and use them for flower arranging, so that's one of the reasons I like to go. Um, and also to Asakusa because it's really just a straight shot from Kapabashi um, down to Asakusa and just wander around and I get to go to my favorite uh, Teinigui shop. Now if you don't know what a Teinigui is, it's kind of like an old-fashioned uh, rag where people used to wipe things up with. But now they're actually quite beautiful and have very nice designs and you wouldn't really want to wipe anything up with them. Um, this is one that I bought several years ago when a friend was visiting me um, in Asakusa. I thought it was kind of pretty, so I bought it. The Weeping Willow design. There. And then uh, yesterday I bought a new one because of course I just couldn't resist. And it has um, my favorite iris design on them. So I think I will open it up and see what the inside looks like. If I can find the opening. Ah. Here we go. So this is ooh, this one. This is the iris tenugui that I bought yesterday. Ooh, I like it. Very much. Yep, here it is. So, this is a store in Asakusa that I like very much, and I think it's kind of famous. And I will put the link to their website on the side. And the lighting in my room is really bad, um, and I'm sorry about that. I have to fix my lighting. I uh, the cover for my la light uh, broke several years ago because it fell on my head. Because uh, I was trying to change the light bulb and I didn't screw it on correctly and it fell and cut my eyebrow. And that was about, oh, probably three years ago and I still haven't fixed it. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it someday. Um, anyways, uh, I'll like to show you some footage from Kapabashi, just a little bit from Asakusa because my batteries ran out. Um, so enjoy! I'm not the one who's running away.
um, in the video I was eating kind of an ice cream sandwich thing um, and it's called monaka which is you know basically a Japanese version of an ice cream sandwich so it's kind of like two they're not really cookies they're kind of like conish I don't know like wafery-ish uh, kind of round cookie things um, in the middle they have ice cream and I like to get matcha or green tea ice cream in the middle so um, it's kind of my treat um, I also got uh, some dango, mirashi dango um, on the way, my way through Asakusa um, I enjoy just kind of walking along sometimes and uh, getting little snacks here and there um, I enjoy doing that on my day off um, also um, after uh, walking through Asakusa um, I went to karaoke uh, by myself, uh, which I really do enjoy going to karaoke, um, but by myself, because if you ask anyone, especially bro hands or sexy MDL men, I cannot sing. <laughs> I'm a really horrible singer. Um, and I usually like to sing in Japanese, so I like to go by myself and practice my favorite uh, Japanese songs. So that's another good way to study Japanese if you like Japanese songs. And you like karaoke, I suggest going to karaoke to practice because it's a fun way to practice without using like a book or anything like that. So, uh, and it's fairly cheap if you go during the day. Um, it was like maybe 200 yen and for half an hour or something. Um, I went to Big Echo. I have a Big Echo card. I like Big Echo. Um, so it was only like, you know, I was there an hour and a half and it was only ended up actually being 480 yen. It was 160 yen for half an hour. That's what it was. Um, so, yeah, um, I had a nice day off, 